Hello and welcome back to another video. Um, so I was basically um, on the loo and I was just thinking about XP farms in Minecraft and how the normal XP farm is usually something like um, a mob spawner um, that uh, you know spawns mobs and you just take them down to 1 HP and then you hit them or guardian farms. I was thinking, um, could you make an efficient um, like XP farm of a, an ender dragon? So I was like, yeah, you can respawn ender dragon using, dragons using end crystals and I was like, it's, and that's pretty much just glass and a gas here and I think. So I looked it up and yeah, the recipe was basically just that, a gas and a glass, glass and a gas here. I think you also need an eye of ender actually as well, which isn't, which if you're at the end, that's not going to be too hard to get being as, you know, blazes are easy to farm and endermen are all over the place in the end if you're not on peaceful. Um, so, I was like, yeah, the, an ender dragon farm, if you do, you would just require the, the slightest bit of grinding to, you know, get. So, um, what I decided to, to do was, um, in the end, was uh, build, was uh, build like um, the uh, towers of pistons to that would drop TNT on the end crystals um, after you respawn the end dragon. And I figured this would be the easiest way because you could just use scaffolding to get up there and repair it. And I don't. And uh, the reason why I placed them at that part in particular is because I don't think the end, dra end dragon really fires uh, um, through the pillars much. I know um, she will fly above them and it, uh, um, I think she'll even like skirt the edges of them but I don't think she you know just straight up flies th through the center of them at least not too often. Um, Another way you could also do this, which might have been better now when I'm looking back on it, because I'm I'm recording this narration after I've after I've recorded all this, and it's taken like almost two hours to record everything. Um, uh, you could just have like it have like one um, like pillar of slime and everything going all the way up, and I do know the Ender Dragon has a limit to how high she will fly. So you could, within theory, just like build a massive pillar of, uh, find out how high she'll go, and just like build a massive pillar of, um, slime and sticky pistons. So probably best to do it somewhere near a, um, one of these, uh, um, or something, somewhere where she probably won't go too often, um, and that way you have she's less likely to fly into it because you, you sh there's only one tiger rather than. One for each tower, and just fly, build up, uh, send it up to uh, above where she can fly, and then build the dispensers above the end crystals where they will then dispense the TNT. I don't know if it will be too high for the, uh, for you know, because then the um, TNT might blow up before it gets the end crystals. I don't know. Um, I haven't done too much re research on this. Hold on, I've got to sort this out quickly. Um, Okay, I'm back. This is actually a day later now. Um, actually, it might be two days later now. Um, yeah, something came up and then something else came up. And uh, the, then last night, yesterday, I started not feeling well. My throat was completely buggered and it's not too good right now. It's not hurting, but it's a bit... Uh, it, well, it is hurting a little bit, but it's not too bad right now. Well, my nose is still a bit bunged up, and I've still got a headache. But fuck it. Anyway, so oh, and I've completely forgotten like everything I was going to say. Oh yeah, I remember here. I was like, oh, I'll, I'll make it look nice and put it up like this. But no, I just made it hard. And knowing what I know now, that was. Was even worse of an idea. Um, so yeah, this did this took way 
a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. Um, now, here, uh, what I'm thinking, what I think with this is, um, it takes a while to set up, but, um, potentially, if you can just get those ender crystals out of the way, and then just finish off the ender dragon uh, real quick, then, uh, um, this would be a decent way of grinding XP, um, without just, without a mob spawner, um, or, like, destroying, destroying an ocean monument or the entirety of the end. Um, because I do know Enderman farms are popular for XP, because, um, well, for that you have to destroy the, pretty much the entire end island. Mind you, I think you could, yeah, you could probably just go out to the smaller end islands and destroy a bunch of the smaller ones, and then, uh, build an enderman farm there. Um, actually destroying the entire end is actually a pro is actually a project that I've wanted to do in the past. Um, the only problem is um, with this if you did then um, summoning the ender dragon would make would be a bit of a problem because it'd be a bit hard to fight the ender dragon if you know, you just had a bunch of slabs everywhere, right? Because the Ender Dragon would destroy the slabs, which would be your, your only way of getting around, and it would just be a massive pain, basically. Um, so, yeah, actually building an Enderman farm on the End Islands would not be such a bad idea. Um, uh, <coughs> oh, yeah, and I still got a bit of a cough. Um, uh, uh, yeah, I'm a bit, still a bit out of it, but I want to get this done. Because it took me so so long to get this done, and I haven't uploaded anything in a while, and I think I'm just going to upload this today. Even though it's a Tuesday today, and it's technically not where what I would upload on a Tuesday. It's just like, I've just, I just want to get this uploaded, and I can't be asked to recall much today. Um... Well, well, what's even Tuesdays? Oh, Kitra. Oh, there's no way I'm doing Kid Trip today. No, when I'm not feeling well. And basically, what I'm thinking about doing with Kid Trip is just like getting a bunch of footage and then just speeding it up because with that game, all it is is me just going, oh, this game's a bit shit. Like, it is challenging. If you want a decent chal, if you want a challenge, Kid Trip isn't bad, but. Most of the challenge just comes from the fact that you can't stop moving. And it reminds me of the um, Klungo Saves the World and Klungo Saves the Universe mini games from Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Hmm. Well, they were actually quite a bit easier because I've actually done most of them. Actually, I haven't 100% done. Congo saves the universe. I can't remember why. I think something came up, and then I completely forgot about finishing that. And I was also a bit sick of it because it's there's a reason why it was a mini game, and they never made Congo saves a actual game. I mean, it was just a small game. And they, there's a reason why they didn't do it. Um, oh yeah, I forgot, um, I did, um, like, try to cover this up just to make it look a bit nicer and so you wouldn't fall into the holes, but later on I, f uh, I just couldn't be asked to do that and that I, um, basically just left it. But I think we're at this, where I'm, uh, uh I'm almost done with this segment because, yeah, we're almost done with this segment because it, I'm just wiring everything up, um, making sure it all works, um, but yeah, um, here's here's the thing if if a dungeon or, or a, you know, any, any like, sort of mob spawners, but if they become easier to find, then, yeah, you've basically got yourself, you know, 
free XP and that is good because you know it's XP um oh, I'm gonna sneeze <coughs> oh sorry about that um but I just I just thought this would be good idea just in case oh no no again <coughs> Ah. Anyway, I'm gonna leave you here because this is when I actually try this method out for the first time. I hope you enjoy my reaction to this. Bye bye. Before I started recording this bit, I just realised that this button is right where an end crystal needs to be. So let me just bop, bop. Uh, just get a bit of Bobby here. Then there we go. Just patch that back up, and that should release TNT still. Yep. Okay, so um, I really need to clear my inventory. the clear command only clears your hotbar. Doesn't matter. Right, so. Um, I know not all of these are going to be permanent. Like, uh, they may need some um, repair. Yes, yeah, some repair uh, um, if the Ender Dragon flies into them. But what I'm hoping is that it won't too much. At least it before... Um, I can get all of the crystals destroyed. Um, but if it does, it's not going to be too much trouble. This is just the quickest way I can think of of destroying the end crystals. And the most reliable without the dragon destroying it. Anyway, we need an anvil. So, I'm not going to be enchanting too many things. Because the ender dragon herself is not affected by enchantments. Such as sharpness or anything like that. But um, you uh, can get... Well, protection would be good, so... Um, diamond. So get a chest plate and all that, a diamond sword, and then a bow. Uh, bow, crossbow. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for crossbow. Um, just because um, it's gonna be so. Q U it because. All the crossbow is going to do is um, it's just going to be there for if one of the crystal destroyers fail for whatever reason. So it's going to want quick draw and infin. Quick draw, infinity, and I'm going to need one arrow. Oh. So I could, within theory, do this completely um, without um, even laying a hand. Apparently, you can't put infinity on a crossbow anymore. Yeah, you can go into the portal then. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, so just quick charge, and I'll just. Grab a couple, a couple stacks of arrows. Good thing I didn't have uh, fully enchanted stuff in my hot bar. Diamond. Alright, so next, so the sword doesn't need any enchantments. Um, so the armor just wants protection and further falling. Protect. Protection. And feather falling. So this is a very just like basics uh, cell because you don't really need a 
that much to go up against the end of Dragon Egg. You don't really need diamond armor. This is just, um, you can do it in like iron and well, you can pretty much do it in any ar armor if you're good enough. But um, this is just some basic end game gear because you, uh, this is an end game thing you'd be doing. That button might get destroyed. Um, but basically, my hope here is that because these are on this side of the towers, um, the end dragon won't fly into them. That's my hope. And my other hope is that when the end, end crystals get remade, they're not going to wipe this entire thing out, making the, the past the, uh, like half hour of me setting these up completely in vain. Like, do you know how hard it is to place stuff on the side of obsidian? Like, sometimes it can be easy. Like, here was easy because you could see the edges, but here it's, it's not so easy. You can't really tell where the edges of the blocks are too well. Um, so, all I'm going to want now is some food. Gold. So, I'm just going to grab a stack of golden carrots. I uh, might as well get a shield because it is cheap and it's um, something that most people will have by the time they get to the end nowadays. Um, so the, the reason why um, I chose uh, the end dragon in Pacific to try and kill as fast as possible is uh, because you summon it with end crystals which are fairly cheap only being glass, gas tier and an ender eye. Which, if you're in the end, you're probably going to have plenty of ender pills to make into eyes of ender. And blaze powder isn't hard to come by in the slightest. Um, so, I'm a bit nervous, but let's go into game mode zero and try this. One. Two. Three. Fingers crossed, this doesn't go to shit instantly. Four. Oh no, it went to shit instantly. Oh, it, wait, it, no, it hasn't gone completely to shit. But the problem is, and this is really annoying. Is creating new towers because this is such an old will that the Ender Dragon was spawned and killed before um, the update, and now I don't have any blocks to get up there with. And hours of time has just been completely wasted. Ah. Oh. Oh. Screw you. Oh. This game sometimes, I swear. Oh, that, that cuts into it funnily. Oh, wow. Oh. 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 At least this one's still working. And we can see that the Ender Dragon isn't really destroying them. Even though they're on the old ones. This one is still working, even though it's completely nowhere near anything else and part of it's been chopped off. Yeah, so um, this is about the time where I would, uh, in a game where I would just uh, be completely and utterly demoralized and uh, not and then go step away from the uh, game take a break and then come back and uh, try again when I'm not salty as the Yogg's cast or as Lewis would be in a game of civilization um, or like during Project Ozone or to the core or um, Last off, oh, 
He got really salty and blasted off. Um. So yeah, I'm just gonna kill this end dragon and then I'm gonna go step away from Minecraft and then come back to it. Oh, oh, there's another one there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you guys when I decide to uh, finish this video. So after taking a break for a little while, I, you know, came back to, to try this one last time. Um, and the, the, in between the, uh, the last time, the, the last recording session and this recording session, um, I had the bright idea of um, using. Uh, 11 sli a pist using a piston, 11 slime blocks, and the 12th block being the redstone blocks to do this instead. Um, and yeah, it's a lot easier. And then later on, I halfway through this uh, part, it, um, I decided to have it. I don't know if I, it was halfway or when, when I decided to do this, but I at one point I, t I realized that it would just be easier. If I put a lever down at the bottom, I had it on, and then just um, had the piston for all the pistons fully extended, and then uh, I wouldn't have to put a gap there. So yeah. Oh, I haven't even sped this up yet. I'm going to need to do that. I'll be right back once I've sped up the footage. Oh dear. In fact, some of the footage that I got corrupted, and I can't be bothered to mess with that. So. Um, what I'm probably going to do is cut out a lot of the footage and just because there's a lot of the same just going up and down building uh, slime towers so I'll see you, I'll just for you guys I'll just skip to the um, bit where I uh, try this out this should work so um, and if they do get damaged these ones are actually a lot easier to these new ones out will actually be a lot easier to fix in survival than these ones because all you need would be a bit of scaffolding and some slime and redstone blocks and maybe and some sticky pistons. But hopefully um, this won't really be damaged. Hopefully I hopefully the dragon won't fly into them. But if we now go pop pop. Bop and Bop. Then you have them. Oh no. All of my hard work uh, once again being destroyed. So all of this time has been completely wasted because they, it's not like they're even right next to them. So it's like within this area here, I mean, I guess you could say it further back and then try it. Well, we have to rebuild literally every last one, and somehow this one got stuck powered on, which is annoying. Yeah, at least they blow them up through the cage and not destroy themselves. I don't know. Right, here's the thing. Because there's a beam, what I'm thinking here is that if it, if there's something in front of the beam. Then it gets destroyed. Um, hold on, can I? Uh, where's my old keyboard? Here it is. I'll use my old keyboard. Use the kill command on the Ender Dragon, and then just like do a bit of testing with this quickly. Where's my switch? There it is. Right, work closer to me because my SM30 Pro is uh, basically died before recording. So yeah, I'll just plug it in widely, wide, and I don't, and um, I don't have a long charging. I don't have a long USB Type C, so is I just have to have my switch close to me. So 
Um, how do I put in the commands again? Is it select? No. Not that. Here we go. Kill at E. There we go. There's just an arm. There we go. Oh, that's a little bit glitchy there. Um. So, what I want to test out quickly is if I just grab some slime box here. It's like. Actually. I can just go. Uh, here we go. Fill, wiggle, 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 fifty, wiggle, fifty, wiggle, fifty. Seven. On a small block. Does it? Do they still use it? No. Hold on. It's just slime block like that. Nope. Oh, it's not. No. Slime block. Okay, what is this? Slim block. Is it? Oh, you know, sir. No, no, no. Is it block of slime? Slime. It is literally just slime. That's annoying. Too many blocks. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Too many blocks. Twenty-five. There you go. That's a bit to the left. Too far to the left, but if I like fill this up with some slime blocks, then we can see exactly what the area is for them like resetting it or whatever. should see that there was a thing here and it should reset it in a moment when it gets round to it. Yeah, so it's this entire area. So it is within theory possible but you'd have to build it like this far back where this wall is and then this tall just to make sure that it is within theory possible. Um, just do the kill command again. Bye bye. Anyway, this actually looks kind of cool. This is a giant thing at time, but strangely enough, it doesn't care about that much about down here, apart from these three blocks on each side. Um, that is very curious. Why? Why do you do the things that you do, in Minecraft? So yeah, I'm not gonna bother rebuilding all of these all over again because 
that would be literally the third time. And I re like you uh, you don't want to watch me rebuild them all. You get the point by now. If you you so basically how many blocks is that anyway? So if you build it from the ups, uh, from the bedrock, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So eleven blocks away, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so basically eleven blocks away from this bit, from the center bit of bedrock, on all side, on any side, uh, then this would work. Um. So basically, you um, you would press that button, and then um, the, TN the dispensers would dispense TNT on all of the end crystals, destroying them all at once, uh, allowing you uh, to uh, um, kill the Ender Dragon. Now, how you uh, um, finish off the Ender Dragon at that point is up to you. Oh, the Ender Dragon must have. Oh, uh, that actually looks kind of cool. How it flies through the slime. How it flies through the slime. Anyway, um, so it will be up to you how you finish the Ender Dragon off at that point. Whether it's with like crossbows and or bows and sword, or just like what you could also do is just like uh, go from here, build up and build like. A massive like TNT dispensing machine and just like dispense TNT onto the Ender Dragon, killing it uh, quite quickly, which is possible. But um, in survival, I wouldn't suggest it because it would just require so much TNT. I mean, it would be like literally the fastest possible way to kill the Ender Dragon um, if you could figure out exactly how many how many TNT explosions you needed. Um, and you could just like set a uh, bunch of dispensers up. So like say you needed 50 TNT to kill the Ender Dragon. You'd set up like 50 d dispensers to go off at, go off once. Um, and that's probably... And uh, you would just like, have to time it to when the dragon's just like there. And then you just like dispense the TNT. They all blow up, killing the Ender Dragon. Um, and that would probably be the fastest way to kill the Ender Dragon to be honest. And um, the only thing I could say that um, wouldn't be so good would be, you know, oh, that, did you see that? It's just a straight line of XP. That is very odd. Maybe a glitch. That's um, a thing in Minecraft Bedrock. Um, oh. The game did not like that for some reason. Anyway. Um, so yeah. Usually a video that um, had like a result like a very like anticlimactic result. I would usually scrap. But I've just spent way too much time already just like building these. Rebuilding them. Like it's just like too, so much time that... If I didn't uh, release this in any capacity, capacity, this would just be a massive waste of time. And I think, yeah, I think you, I think this is an interesting experiment that you guys might like to watch, even despite the anti-climatic end. Anyway, I've got to get rid of this now, which is e which means I have to pour even more time into this um, than I have already. And then I gotta go record other videos. I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, just sweet cheese. Bye.